Uh, tell me about the News Corp hack by Chinese cyber criminals and the way that attacks like these can be used not only to target media outlets and even not just journalists, but their their in country sources. I believe I is that am I getting that right? You are, yeah. Mm-hmm. And 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 I think the kind of inherent in that is the need for journalists and in country sources to communicate, right? Yes, to communicate sure. as, as, however they can to get messages out, and to, you know when you have things like. The Great Firewall and others like be very creative or maybe mm-hmm. more vulnerable in order to get things out. So I, and it often happens in email. I think increasingly you're seeing these in your signal and some of your more secure apps, right? You I think you have right. some of this movement to that specifically in, in an effort to combat the, the growing aggression, cyber and other to to journalists globally, right? Because they, yep. they do want sources, they do want new intel. So they're very open to a cold call potentially, right? Because this could yeah. be an amazing source. And in that right. openness, right, where, you know, a lot of, I think, email teams, email security teams get to be like very, they can have a very high threshold for vetting or validating yes. who's reaching out. Right. Journalists almost by design want to get, you know, because this, this could be The door has to be next, wide open, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And, and in fact, it, it aligns quite well with my old life where Mm -hmm. we're looking for intelligence sources, right? We're looking for assets. Some asset, you know, writes into what have you and says, you know, I may have intel around a terrorist threat or this leader or this thing. It is, it would be, you know, foolhardy not to follow up on it, but you also are exposing your own security resources, access, in building that bridge, right? And that is, mm-hmm. you know, you're gonna, you could have a really heavy social engineering element to that, right? To what, mm-hmm. you know, what is a kind of dangle of a source, right? Yeah. That then turns into rapport building, that then turns into sharing of information, click, you know, and then exposing and then leveraging for the attacker. I mean, it is, it can be a very, even though the approach seems almost dated in that it's a grift on the street or something, you know, that's still what like works that. the best. Yeah. It's, you know, we, you know, some of my best friends are humans. Other ones are dogs, increasingly they're dogs, <laughs> but yeah. you know, we are fallible. We all, and very often we're very social creatures, right? We are, we are, yeah. we are open to having a conversation and those in line of work where you are talking about a journalist, and this, and that it just is a, a natural thing for them. Yeah. So what they really need to be thinking about is how can I have that level of, exposure mm-hmm. and engagement with this with the levels of protection and security i need in place to make sure that it's not taken advantage of right yeah. and the biggest ones being multi-factor authentication validation yep. of of being able to and that thankfully journalists are outstanding researchers mm-hmm. but let me you know how can i vet and validate the individual what questions can i ask that might you know, make their social engineering more complicated, right? And, and mm-hmm. you shouldn't take things at face value. And and usually, very often, right, that social engineering goes only so far until they start to have to fabricate and, and their story starts to unravel. Now, the more sophisticated yeah. actor, the more deep that that fabrication can go. But, right. you know, I would say going after your, your lying journalists, it's probably more of a standard playbook rather than a truly targeted, truly deep, and what we would call backstops, hmm. you mm-hmm. know, approach where I, they have a, you know, they have a Facebook you know, that wasn't created a week ago. They have Twitter that actually follows and retweets, right? Yep. They actually have some level. I mean, you could start to dig into oh, the, yeah. the, the level of- The depth of complexity. Right, yeah. in, in, mm-hmm. in reality. But again, you yeah. have to, they have to take the time. So if it's something fast moving, and mm-hmm. that's where they'll get you, right? If it's just something yeah. that is- Quick turnaround, yeah. immediate, and urgent. It's all, yeah, it's also the, the the sort of you know it's it's the job where you're so you're most closely connected to. You need to open this now, or it could go away. I mean, you know, we always talk about you know the 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 fact that social engineering sort of uh, relies on you to to make the decision before you've thought about it. And I suppose if you're looking for you know, and then and especially if you've been like hitting your head against a brick wall, right? You when someone finally says, "I have this information that you need," like you're just going to, you know, unless you stop yourself, you're just going to go, great. Thank, thank goodness. No one else has. That's right. You can already see the Pul- the Pulitzer award. You could already like, you're going to get yeah. that headline. Cause there's yeah. that, right. They could be like, Oh, I'll just send this to, you know, it's sorry, Washington post. You know, if you're mm-hmm. not going to respond to me, 
the Wall Street Journal is dying to, to post this. I mean, you don't know that, right? But yeah. if I can weave that web, you're like, no, 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 no. I, I trust you. I Hang do. On. Let's 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 you know, send me that link, and I'll go right to the page, or we, we uh-huh. can we can engage that way. Because uh-huh. again, wow. you you are chasing a, a deadline to some extent. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec Skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.